Hey, Steve here, and I'm with my good friend Lori Kenyon from RitualCleanse.com. So you might recognize all these bottles here, especially the ones with the numbers on them. If you watch TV and you probably see celebrities like uh, Bruce Willis, uh, the Kardashians, Matthew McConaughey, and I don't know, what are a couple others? Sofia Vergara, Tom Brady. Yeah, you know, just a few other normal people. But they all start using these cleanses. So these are becoming really trendy right now. And not trendy because it's just popular, but because they actually have good nutritional um, uh, benefits to them. And so Lori's going to help talk us through what these do. Um, if you're looking for a cleanse, how to pick the best one and also what goes into these bottles. So thank you for being here. And we're actually in Lori's kitchen, so thank you for letting me into your house. Um, tell us first, what is, since you have a great story, how did these get started? Okay, so I actually um, had pneumonia and take really strong antibiotics uh, to get over it. About how long ago? About two years ago. And um, it got rid of the pneumonia, but unfortunately it left me feel very, feeling yeah. very sluggish, kind of full of toxins. I gained a little bit of weight and I just, felt like my body wasn't operating as well as it should have. My um, co-founder of Ritual Cleanse at the time was my Pilates instructor and friend, Mara, and she said, I think that your liver is full of toxins from using all the antibiotics. And so um, we were trying to find a way to kind of detox me. And we tried over-the-counter products that were powders. We, we tried to order various products mm -hmm. from different companies and um, just found that they were all lacking in various ways. And so we got our own nutrition certifications um, learn about which fruits and vegetables combine well to help pull toxins out of your body would give you uh, enough nutrients and nourishment and launch ritual cleanse. Yeah, and you know, and that makes sense. I mean, just a few hundred years ago, before there was you know this Western medicine, you would try to get better through foods. And I know when I had pneumonia, it was probably about a few years ago, same thing. I was in bed, couldn't move, felt sick, and then was probably in the worst shape ever when I came out of that. So, and th actually this wasn't around, but I had to, you know, work myself back in. And so now you have, th this ritual cleanse, there's what, six bottles a day? Right, that's right. If you do the cleanse itself, there's six bottles, they're numbered one through six. There's about a thousand calories in the six bottles, and they contain 15 pounds of organic fruits and vegetables. So we essentially cold press those, put them into bottles for you, so it's very easy for you to take throughout the day. If you work out, which Mara and I both do, we thought it was really important to have enough nutrients for your workout too. So we have, yeah, the, the red energy. Oh, right there, yeah. Same, same juice, but the pre-workout um, has beads, carrots, apples, pears. Um, beads are really good for bringing oxygen to your muscles. This is a great fuel for your workout. And then the post has additional protein um, for that all-important post-workout recovery. Exactly, yeah. And so, and speaking about energy, this is important because I know when I was going to do this, I thought I was going to, you know, actually not feel good. Uh, you know, no offense to the ritual cleanse, but I expect that if you think of a cleanse, you're not going to have energy. You're going to be hungry all the time. And so I planned to not work out. So I actually didn't work out, even though I should have, but I had a ton of energy. I was never like low and never felt uh, groggy like I thought I would. And actually, as I went along, my hunger did go away, which is kind of surprising because I'm always hungry. But, um, all right, cool. So now you make a bottle, 15 pounds of fruits and vegetables. I, I wish we had 15 pounds. That would be awesome to kind of show how much that was. It's a lot. Yeah. So how does that even go into a bottle? Like, is it just a, a juicer? Oh, can you make it at home? Um, you know, you certainly can juice at home. You certainly can buy juice from juice bars. There is a difference in the nutrient load. Um, and what I mean by that is most home juicers and also juicers that you would, if you went to the same others or Whole Foods to buy juice, it's called a centrifugal juicer. And essentially, I'm sure you've all seen it, it's some juice bar, you know, your jam juice, whatever. The fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. come in, very quickly the juice comes out, and here's your juice. Yeah. It tastes great. You put it in the fridge for two hours and come back, it tastes disgusting. Like basically, the air has gotten to it, just yeah. like I bite an apple and put it it's down. Brown. It starts to turn brown. Yeah. Exactly, it oxidizes. When it oxidizes, it kills off a lot of the nutrients, so that's why you drink those right away. And lots of times people will say to us, oh, I thought you were supposed to drink a juice within 15 minutes after you make it. And yeah. Yes, that's true, out of a centrifugal juicer. We use what's called a cold press method, which is vastly different. It's kind of like olive oil, right? Cold press? Yeah, they cold press olive oil too, that's right. So basically we use 40,000 pounds of hydraulic pressure to actually crush the fruits and vegetables and break them down at the cellular level. So that when um, the process is finished, essentially the skin or the fiber is left and it's dry like sawdust. You wouldn't be able to get a mm -hmm. dog to eat it and there's no nutritional value. All the nutrients, so all those live enzymes, um, all the nutrients that are in the cells of the, the it's not just the water that comes out in the centrifugal method, but all the nutrients actually come out. We, we press them together. So each juice has its own blend. Mm -hmm. None, they all have more than one ingredient, most of them have five or six ingredients. 
all of them are pressed together, and then the juice comes out, and that's why it stays and maintains basically the mixture. It doesn't separate it at all because it's been pressed together and it's so nutrient dense. There's nothing. There's no water to go to the top and nutrients to go yeah. to the bottom. There's no water. It's the nutrients. And so, since it's not a centrifugal um, juicer with that method, how long will a bottle last then? So these will actually last five days from the day that they're pressed. Okay. Because there's no oxygen introduced to the process. Yeah. It takes about seven minutes for the press to actually make one press with that with that amount of pressure. And so the fruits and vegetables aren't heated at all. They stay cold um, because heat obviously destroys mm -hmm. nutrients. Same way we don't want to drink pasteurized juice. Yeah. Once you pasteurize it, you heat it to 140 degrees, you kill off all the nutrients, you leave the sugar behind. So sometimes people have in their head, oh, I should drink juice. Juice is bad for me. And it's like, well, yes, pasteurized juice from a supermarket does not have much nutritional value yeah. and has a lot of sugar. Vastly different from our juices. Exactly. And it's pasteurized. Well, we won't even go into antibiotics <laughs> because we'd be here forever. But it's pasteurized to be able to kill off any um, um, antibiotic resistant bacteria and other bugs that are in there so that's safe for us to even consume. So it actually destroys what you're trying to get just to make it safe so you don't die, basically, or get sick. It's true. And so what we yeah. do, as one of the things that we do to avoid that, is that um, when we get all of our produce in, we get it fresh from the growers, so it's very fresh. It's amazing. We'll get it from the growers at the same time as the supermarkets that other people are buying it and go to, and they'll sit there for a few weeks. So we're actually getting it very fresh, farm to market. Oh, phone call. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> and... Um, and we wash it in alkaline water, so we have an alkaline water system, okay. and that actually kills all that bacteria off without destroying any of the nutrients. Yeah, yeah. And just to touch on alkaline, and we'll have to probably make a video later on about alkaline foods, and I'm sure that's more orders calling in, so that's probably, <laughs> that's probably Tom Brady <laughs> or Giselle. Um, but um, with what was I just saying? <laughs> about the difference with alkaline water. Alkaline, thank you. <laughs> Um, with alkalinity, um, you want your blood to be slightly alkaline, your whole body pH, because if it's even slightly acidic, you're more prone to cancers, infections, sickness, all that type of stuff. So that's where um, a high alkalinity is important. Well, and that brings yeah. a great benefit to cleansing. So um, when you order the cleanse from us, you either get three green juices or four green juices, depending on whether you choose the seasonal or the classic. But in either case, you're getting such a significant amount of green fruits and vegetables, mostly vegetables, into your body, that the mineral count on that is very high. And that mineral count is what helps bring up that yeah. alkaline state to your body. Because Perfect. as you mentioned, when you're acidic, it's it's a breeding ground for all sorts of diseases. Yeah. And also, your body, your organs will use minerals as they need them. And if they can't find them in your food, or if they're not in your body because it's acidic, they'll take them from your bones or exactly. wherever. Exactly, calcium yeah. especially. Yeah, well, we have bone density issues. Yep, exactly. Yeah. So this is awesome because I finally found someone who, you know, I don't have to do all the talking, you know all the nutrition. <laughs> so you're the experts. Um, why would someone want to do a cleanse? So we talk about removing toxins, and I think that term is kind of thrown around where, you know, let's go ahead and detox, let's remove the toxins. And I don't think anybody really even knows what that means. So what does that mean? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, toxins exist basically in our bodies because we don't eat real food anymore. As you said, you know, hundreds of thousands yeah. of years ago we did. We eat processed food, we eat refined sugar, we eat fruits and vegetables that have been sprayed in pesticides. Fake oils, yeah. Meats that have injected with hormones. Yes. Yeah. So we have, um, and then just environmental toxins also. So all of those get stored in our body, in our skin, in our internal organs. Your body doesn't know what to do with them essentially because your body was created to take in fruits and vegetables and you know meat that has not been altered with hormones. Food you would find in nature. Exactly. Yeah. And so those toxins just get stored in the body and the body doesn't really know what to do with them. So what you do on a cleanse is you don't eat any food and you give your digestive system a break. Again, we thought that while you're not eating food, it wasn't necessary to deprive your body of nutrients. Yeah. So that's why these drinks have so much in them, essentially, of just real food, but we've taken out the fiber. So your digestive system doesn't need to do anything, and your body gets all the nutrients, and slowly the toxins will all sort of be released in a very um, mild way. So there aren't harsh detox symptoms. There are certainly things you can do to get toxins out of your body quickly, but this is just a very mild, natural way for it to occur. The energy that's normally used by your body mm -hmm. to digest food, um, which you mentioned you felt so energetic, yeah. that, that energy can be used by other things in the body to help sort of flush out these toxins, to help repair cells, and just give you more energy. Yeah, that makes total sense. And, you know, and I just thought of something that another benefit is that, um, I guess just being a guy working out, but I typically, I feel, I feel like I, you know, I'm always hot, I sweat, but like 
I, my temperature has felt normal in the last few days, and I haven't even been sweating the way I usually do. I don't know if that makes sense, kind of gross, but I feel like I'm not expending a ton of energy. My body isn't working hard to digest, you know, whatever it is I was eating before. That's great. Yeah. That's, and you just finished the prince yesterday. Just right? yesterday, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And my first meal back was a um, uh, a cop salad I made at home. Well, and that's great, and that's what yeah. we try and really encourage people to do because obviously we don't believe that this is a cure all. It's not a magic juice that if you drink suddenly everything will be better and that you won't crave bad food and that your skin will be glowing but if mm -hmm. you do it for three days or five days whatever period of time we suggest a minimum of three you really will reset your body you will crave real food you won't crave processed food as much you will realize that a strawberry tastes sweet and yeah a lifesaver tastes like chemicals and um and if you ease yourself back into it, you don't right away go back to eating terrible things, but you really listen to your body, and as your body's craving more natural, real food, that you actually give that to your body, you will find that you will not need to detox as soon again afterward, and that your body will work much more efficiently afterwards. Yeah, and I totally expected, you know, like especially day one, I'm like, all right, on my fourth day, you know, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna eat, you know, pizza, whatever, thinking, you know, okay, I'm this one, I'm gonna want, I'm gonna be craving, I'm gonna be starving, and I wasn't really that hungry, and like I said, I had tons of energy, but the first thing I wanted to eat was like a salad. Like I just wanted healthy food. Like even because I went into, I think it was Starbucks, I could smell, it was almost like chemicals and foods. And that's where I could never really be that sensitive to it before. So that to me was amazing that as long as I've been doing this, that I was never that aware of all the other chemicals and processed foods and all that type of stuff that, you know, to, the, to my very smell. Well, it's interesting too, Mara has celiac, so she can't eat gluten. And I, my personal belief is that most of us have some slight allergy, at least exactly. to that's yeah. really not great for our bodies. Yeah, and I just made a video about that last week, by oh, the way. Right. So that's, that's right, yeah. yeah. Well, so we found that people, are, our clients have let us know that after they do a five-day cleanse or a three-day cleanse and they have not had any gluten and they go back to eating that, they really start to feel bloated and not good because they don't realize that they, you know, you, you kind of remove every processed food, dairy, everything from your body that might give you an allergy or might not make you feel yeah. right, you remove that while you're doing this and so when you introduce it back you can really see the effects. Because sometimes you don't realize what the food you're doing does to you. Like yeah. you don't feel good but you don't, you, it's all you're used to. You well know, especially if it's like, you know, let's say it's a combination of gluten or it's something else or you're drinking and it's just all these things, factors that is increasing your inflammation. Yeah, you don't know where it's coming from, you always become uh, desensitized to it so you just, you just feel like that's the way you're going to always feel. Yeah. But I can definitely vouch that, you know, after the, my three days, like today, I mean, I feel better than I have in a long time, you know, and I haven't been working out. So I, you know, I thought I was going to be tired, thought I was going to be sluggish, but I feel better than I have in a long time. That's great. And I know, maybe my skin is better. I don't know. But <laughs> it looks good. Like, <laughs> I look like I'm something, I look but... <laughs> um, So now with cleanses, so a lot of people are going to look to cleanses, um, especially now because there are so many celebrities and a lot of celebrities doing the your specific cleanse. Um, and there's a lot of them out there, and I'm sure because of this, we're going to see a lot of competitors, a lot of you know pretenders out there. What should someone look for? They're looking for a cleanse. What are like the most important aspects on how to pick theirs, or if they're going to do one at home? What do you suggest they look for? That's great. I think that it's really important to start with that you use organic fruits and vegetables, because um, I mean there's a number of reasons. I think you should always eat organic fruits and vegetables, but certainly when you're doing a juice cleanse. You're, that's all you're putting into your body. And so if you're trying to remove the toxins, you don't want to add more pesticides or you're yeah. really going to, to feed the benefits. And so um, I think that's really important that you make sure that you choose organic, um, pesticide-free. I think um, if you're doing it at home, obviously buy a good juicer. You're not going to be able to buy a cold press because they're very expensive, but um, you know, just make them fresh throughout the day instead of making them all at once. Mm -hmm. um, I think if you're going to buy it from someone, you want to make sure that there are no additives. We've seen so many cleanses um, or products out there that we tried and we thought they were going to come, you know, before we fell far, so that was going to be fruits and vegetables, and it came and it had additives or supplements or pills or some kind of powdered stuff in it. Yeah, for shelf life, it would have yeah, to Yeah, or just, I think a lot of them are trying to tell weight loss, and so they mm -hmm. put in chemicals and things that would help you lose weight. Um, you know, most people do lose weight when they do the cleanse because you are removing those toxins and you're eating better afterwards, but um, I don't think that's a reason to do. Yeah, that shouldn't a be a goal, exactly. And so it was just really important to us that it's real food, real fruits, real vegetables, nothing else, no additives, no preservatives. You definitely don't want one that's been pasteurized because, again, you've killed exactly, all the nutrients. Exactly, yeah. 
Um, so I think those are the most important things to look for. And you can certainly do it yourself at home too. I want to make sure you had, you know, probably three green juices when you're doing it because again, what we're talking about with pH balance in the body, um, the green juices and, are really important for And that. these were my favorite actually. Well, besides this one that tasted like dessert, um, <laughs> but the green ones were my favorite. Yeah, they were, you know, it was like, you're eating a salad. I don't know. I can't explain it's like it. It's drinking a salad that really It fresh. was good. Yeah, it was very refreshing. Yeah. The celery and the ginger. Yeah. And with organics, um, you know, let's touch on that a little bit. Is you know, I'm surprised that a lot of people, and my mom is one of them, where she is not convinced that you know organic even exists. She thinks it's just a plot by you know supermarkets that charge us more, and that's all the same. But if you're you're not convinced, get a regular banana and an organic banana, and the taste difference, you'll be convinced. I mean, one is going to taste like a pineapple sweet the way it should be, the other one's going to be a cardboard. I mean, there's really no comparison. And you're right, and it's because yeah. of the way that they're picked and what happens with them. So, a great example is when I, when I grew up, I grew up in upstate New York, and there was really no such thing as organic because there was no such thing as using pesticides. Yeah. So, you know, my brother would plant this garden out back, we would go to get them, and if the deer or the birds <laughs> didn't get them first, you know, we would be able to pick them. And so I loved eating tomatoes when I was a kid. Then I grew up and I moved out here, and I couldn't stand tomatoes. Yeah. I didn't know why. They tasted mealy, they didn't have any flavor. I They're huge. Yeah. yeah. And then I finally learned, I mean, once the, the heirloom tomatoes kind of came back, where they have not genetically engineered the seed. And yes, they're ugly and they're craggy. That's what they're whatever. supposed to look like. All yeah. tomatoes look like that. People don't get it. And they taste, you yeah. can eat them out of your hand as if it's a peach because yeah. they're so sweet. Because what happens with a lot of these fruits and vegetables that are not organic, they're genetically engineered to look perfect. They then also get picked before they're ripe. They get sent on a truck somewhere across country. They take it out and here's a green tomato, which obviously is not going to produce any more sugar. Mm -hmm. It's not going to produce any more nutrients. It's already been picked way before it's ripe. They spray it with some argon gas. It turns red. Yeah. You buy it in the grocery store and you wonder why it has no flavor. The yeah. texture is terrible. It exactly. has no nutrient quality to it. Yeah. And so, yeah, it is really, really important that you use organic, not just because of the pesticides, but because of the way it's been grown. Um, and the fact that it has so much more nutrients. Yeah, and of course with the organic, you know, you're gonna pay more. And but the way I see it, it's like it's your you know your fat loss tax or your flat abs tax or whatever you want to call it. Your bikini or your life box. expectancy tax. Exactly. You know? It's just what you have to pay because you're putting this food into your body. The cheaper the food, the worse quality it's gonna be. And that just kind of goes if you go to any you know the fast foods where it's like a 39 cent menu. You know what do you really expect to get out of that? when it's that cheap. You know, if a company's making a profit from something so cheap, imagine what they're buying it from for. I know. Right? But then yeah. also if you think about just what we were talking about before, when your body's in a slightly acidic state because you're not taking in enough nutrients, essentially you end up opening it up to disease. Yeah. And so now you're spending more money on doctor's visits, you're shortening your life expectancy, you don't feel good, you can't go anywhere. And so it's definitely worth putting the money into. Yeah. Exactly. You eventually pay, I think, a thousand times more later on. So you better just to, you know, buy or at the very least organics, but spend the money on good quality food because it's going into your body. You have one body and, you know, if you get a sickness, you know, sometimes there's no coming back. So that's why, you know, I, I won't tell you how much I spend on food a month, but um, I'm sure it'll be even more after this conversation <laughs> because I don't always buy organic, but now I'm going to because... I just forgot about all those details. Well, don't forget about the farmer's market. Yes, that's a far great place. Exactly. Yeah. And so now are these uh, the, fr the fruits and vegetables you gather locally? Gather? Yeah. So we try and get local whenever possible. Organics are number one priority um, for all the reasons we just discussed. And then local is very important to us also. Just um, A, we like to support our local farmers. B, we just don't need the footprint of the carbon footprint yeah. of stuff coming from far away. Thankfully, we're in Southern California, so it's very mm -hmm. easy year-round to get um, local produce for almost everything that we use. Our seasonal juice changes every season <laughs> to use to actually take advantage of the most fresh um, locally grown fruits of the season. So there's, it's always a fruit blend and like we have a number of farms very close up the road, Irvine, et cetera, that sell organic tomato or um, strawberries rather. And so this month, this season's is the, it's got strawberry, um, apples, mint, and coconut water. And we cut a lot of them with coconut water, the fruit juices, yeah. because the coconut water is great for you in terms of potassium. And we want to make sure when you're doing the cleanse, not so important if you're just drinking juice, but on doing the cleanse, that we keep the glycemic level very low yeah. because we want your blood sugar stabilized throughout the day. That's what helps you not get hungry and feel full and satisfied. Um, and so that's why we use the coconut water. And I'm not going to lie, this one specifically, so the ingredients are strawberry, watermelon, and young coconut water. I'm like, add a little vodka to this, and this is like my <laughs> Saturday night drink. Not that I drink, but 
I have to admit good. that we did once <laughs> have a little event with Greenleaf, which is an um, organic food delivery company, um, where the owner of Greenleaf took some vodka infused with um, cucumber, fresh organic cucumbers, muddled it, and added it to this, and it was a very tasty drink. So we felt at least somewhat healthy while we were driving. <laughs> well, that might be the uh, the seventh bottle you might want to add. Exactly. To exactly. Cool. And so not only that, but these are uh, recycled bottles, which I think is totally cool. I think more companies going green, and I think that's awesome. Yeah, yeah they're compostable and biodegradable, so they'll break down in the landfill. Um, uh, also, all of our packaging, our bags are recycled mm -hmm. materials, so that was really important to us also. Cool. Awesome. So now, let's get a couple last questions. Actually, let me tell you about my experience. So I did this for three days. Like I said, I wasn't didn't know how I was going to feel. Expect to be tired. Expect I wouldn't be able to work out. Thought I'd be starving. Um, I did have headaches, but that's because I drink a ton of coffee and you know, I went off of coffee. But today, no headache and no coffee, so I feel pretty damn good. That did you go off coffee ahead of time? Or did no, you? I didn't. Oh, so you really had Yeah, I tried, time. but you know, it, it was hard. <laughs> did you drink green tea? No, I didn't drink green tea. So you could have if you want. Tea doesn't yeah. have that same effect. The, the, and, and the main, Yeah, the acidic. That's mm -hmm. the main reason we don't like coffee on the cleanse because, again, we're trying to get that alkaline state, and so yeah. we prefer you not to drink coffee. I just went cold turkey, did good it. Good for you. Yeah, I like to <laughs> suffer a little bit when I do these things, you know, it makes it feel like it's worth it. <laughs> right. Um, but now, um, like Lori said, that your expectations shouldn't be to lose weight on this product. That's why you're... Mot you know, your main motivation to go on it um, because that may certainly happen. It happens to a lot of people. My weight didn't change. I'm obviously a lot of different factors. I'm a guy. Um, you know, I wasn't really unhealthy. Don't really have a whole lot of weight to lose, anyways. Um, but I did feel great. And for me, um, my motivation was that um, you know I want to try it because I am seeing these bottles everywhere, um, so I can have an opinion about it. But also because I wanted to um, kind of reset my body. You know, I. From going out um, a lot of times per week to eat and you know um, buying most of my food in restaurants, I kind of got out of the habit. It's tough for me. It was tough to you know buy groceries, go get back in the habit. Um, but now after this, like I said, I am craving healthy foods. You know, like my first meal today was a salad. Um, haven't had any coffee. I'm drinking more water and feel better than I have in a really long time. Mm -hmm. And I totally didn't expect it to be honest. You know, because I'm like, all right, let's give it a try. You know, it's a bunch of bottles of juice. Let's see what it's about. So I'm pleasantly surprised about this. And now, even more so, just hearing the story, hearing what goes into it, and just seeing the passion that you have, like this is a real winner. So um, if you want to try a cleanse, I recommend Ritual Cleanse. But if you don't have it available to you, um, I think you can order it. But at least you know take Lori's um, uh, consideration where look for organic. Um, you want cold press, right? And then the reasons towards why you want to do a cleanse. You want to be able to get rid of the toxins that accumulate from our lifestyles, from the foods that we eat, um, bring your blood to your body to a more uh, alkaline levels, less acidic, so you're less, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, exposed to diseases and other things, right? So there's my take. Um, go to ritualcleanse.com. Any last words? Um, no, we do ship, ship nationwide. So okay, perfect. So anywhere they like, yeah, and just give us a day or two's notice. You'll there see you on the website. And we do sell daily juice too now because a lot of people, after they do the cleanse, would like to continue supplementing because a lot of us don't eat enough fruits and vegetables. And so you can order the pre-workout, or the post-workout, or green juice, or whatever you like, whatever combination, without doing a cleanse. And that's good to know because I had definitely a couple favorites that I was like, wow, I would love to have this as a meal replacement or just during the day. Exactly. Oh, well, that's cool. So I did, actually didn't know that. So I'm probably picking up a six pack. Um, and a little bit of this with the vodka. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you so much. Thank this you. is awesome for inviting us thank into you your house, um, educating us on cleanses, uh, organic foods, and everything else. So check out ritualcleanse.com. Um, they're also on Twitter at ritualcleanse. I guess I don't know. you'll find yeah. it on the website and Facebook too. Yeah, and Facebook <laughs> too. So very trendy. And then next time you see a celebrity holding these bottles, you'll know where it came from. All right. Till next time, we'll talk to you soon.